a shadow shall fall over the universe, and evil will grow in its path, and death will come from the skies. Ladies and gentle germs, welcome to Werewolf at the Movies. I'm your not-so-humble host, the Werewolf. Today we are going to be doing something slightly different, going in a slightly different direction than we normally do. I've decided to review a film that is purely animated, but made up of several smaller stories. Yes, today I'm going to be reviewing the 1981 film Heavy Metal. Now this movie is not to be mistaken with the 2000 film by the name of Heavy Metal 2000, because that would be a shame. Technically it's a sequel, but I digress. Heavy Metal wasn't even on my radar until I was about 16 years old. It was my budding interest in heavy metal music that led me to finding this film at the now long gone blockbuster video. <laughs> I didn't know what it was about, but I knew I wasn't old enough to rent it. Luckily for me, the blockbuster employee didn't give a shit and, le and let me rent it anyways. And that, ladies and gentlemen, changed part of my life. It was my first foray into adult animation, and no, I don't mean porn, although this film certainly has a lot of nudity. Like, lots of nudity. <laughs> there was no way I was going to walk around this place with my dork hanging out. Having grown up with animation like The Simpsons and some Japanese stuff like Samurai Pizza Cats, yeah, that's how old I am. This was unreal. The artwork was more sophisticated and real looking. The stories pulled me in and left me astounded at the quote unquote cartoons. Hey, kiss my ass, will ya? Now as I've said before, this film is made up of several smaller stories, but that doesn't mean that they aren't linked up. Every one of these stories is focused around Loknar, a glowing orb which is supposed to be the sum of all evils. My evil corrupts the most innocent. Each story was drawn, produced, and edited by a different group of people, which helps create a different feel for each one of them. The animation is different for each story, so I was always left impressed at how they all have their own kind of unique feel. This is where my review gets a bit different. I'd normally tell you who the main actors are uh, in this film and then cut to a clip of them saying something or doing something that I find funny. You're sorry. What about me? I gotta put this asshole back together. However, this is an animated film and I think that you would just enjoy this more if I didn't give you a list and let it be a surprise to you. I will share this though. This is a Canadian and United Kingdom production, so there are some heavy hitters. I tell you, I'm an American citizen. I, I just lost my papers or something. Goddamn legal aliens. Next up, the soundtrack. If you're into old school hard rock or heavy metal, this will not disappoint. With tunes from Black Sabbath, Sammy Hagar, Don Felder, and more, it sure blows other soundtracks out of the proverbial water. This film means a lot to me personally, and uh, it's truly worth a watching. Like, it's awesome. That's why I'm gonna be rating this film a whopping 9.5 melting humans. Out of 10. 9.5 melting humans out of 10. Come on, that's awesome. Anyways, thank you so very much for watching this different kind of review. I really appreciate it. Until next time, be safe out there, and remember that you're always welcome here. This is a safe place, a happy place, a werewolf place. Werewolf out!